Hello everybody and welcome to my uh, ninth Microsoft Access 2013 tutorial. And this tutorial is going to show you how you can insert data from a Microsoft Excel worksheet. Uh, so uh, here I've got a Excel sheet uh, that I'm just saving down in my tutorial 9. So let's save it as import and as an Excel workbook. Press save. Uh, and all it's got on it is just my data for my items table, which at the moment is empty. Now the quickest way to do it is just to copy your data and paste it in, um, which is good for a couple of records. Uh, but if you're doing it regularly and with a large amount of data, it's better to use the import features built in rather than just copy and paste it. I did just want to show you that you could copy and paste it in. So let's close down our items. Uh, and go to external data uh, and then go to Excel uh, and you can either import the source data into a new table or you can do what I'm going to do which is to append a copy uh, of the records to the table and I'm going to append it to the items table. Uh, you can also do a link table the same way you can with Microsoft Access. Uh, we then just need to uh, browse for our Excel sheet import there we go press ok uh, and now uh, it's just going to give us an example of how it is let's click on next uh, and it's going to ask if we want a wizard to analyze it but i don't um but it's quite good if you someone sends you across your data you can get your wizard to use the analyze table to normalize the data straight away um, so i'm just going to click on finish and save import steps and save import uh, and then we go into our items table and you see it's imported it in. Uh, and then if we go into our saved imports and then run this one, uh, it's just going to append the data each time we want to do it. Uh, so that is a really good way of importing your data from Microsoft Excel. Um, and uh, without too much hassle, especially if you put it into the uh, Outlet reminder. Um, so that's going to be it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I'll show you how you can import from a text file. So thanks for listening, and I hope to catch you soon.